Hey, Laurie. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder. How's your day going? My day is great. How is yours? It's going great. I'm so excited we're here for Celebrate Wonder. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And I'm here with Miss Laurie, our minister of children and youth. And it's time for Celebrate Wonder, where we are learning every week. We have our at-home kits. We're joining together as a family. And I just want to remind you, if you need one of those at-home kits, please call us in the church office. We'll get you connected with that. Um, but you know, it's about time for us to get started. Um, but Where's Laud? Is he around? You know, he's he's been a little out of sorts really since Sunday. Um, I Laud Laud. Hey Laud, what, what you wearing? Yeah, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Seriously, this why you I didn't. He does this. He doesn't check with me before he he puts something on. So why are we wearing this? Well, we we talked about that. We talked about that this weekend. We did. And I'm very sorry. He's very upset because he didn't get to wear a costume in the children's program. And apparently he kind of wanted to be Joseph, but you know, he's already a sheep. So I thought that, you know, worked because there were a sheep in the nativity. So I went with sheep and he wanted to be Joseph. So he decided today he would just show up as Joseph. Well, that is definitely unexpected. Mm -hmm. I well, know, I yes. That well, was unexpected. Mm -hmm. Very unexpected, but we're glad you're here, Laud, and we're glad everybody's here. Shall we uh, continue on to our wonder table and get going with our Celebrate Wonder? I think we should. Let's do it. See you there in a minute. Hold on. Oh. Hold on one second. I didn't introduce Mortimer. Oh. And he's upset too. This is Morty. He's helping us this holiday season. He had something a little unexpected too. He wound up with an elf on his antler. I don't know, all kinds of unexpected things happening. But now that we have introduced Laud and we've introduced Morty and everybody is happy, I think it's time to go to the wonder table now. We'll see you there. Okay. Hi everybody, we are here at our wonder table. And remember to get started, we're gonna light our candle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, Laud always wants to light the candle, Pastor Meredith, but we light the candle, not the lamb. And today you've got all of this stuff on. So that could, I think it's flammable. So here we go. Okay. Oh, Pastor Meredith, what has brought you joy this week? Oh my goodness, Miss Laurie. I know joy is our faith word, right? Mm -hmm. And I've got my poster colored this week. So yes, that not amazing. That has brought me some joy. And we want to encourage everybody, remember in your wonder kit, your, your, uh, your kit, there's uh, the poster to color, to work on together work on separately. Mm -hmm. So remember, our word is joy. What's brought you some joy this week, Miss Laurie? Um, what's brought us some joy this week? Well, I really got a lot of enjoyment out of watching our children's Christmas program on Sunday. It turned out really great. And I was so proud of our kiddos and our youth and Mr. Mark, who's amazing. Yeah, so that brought me a lot of joy. What about you, Laud? What's brought you some joy this week? Hmm. I think Laud, well, okay. This costume has brought Laud joy. Finally getting to wear the Joseph costume because he wanted to, again, be Joseph in the nativity, but he's a sheep. 
Well, how about you? <laughs> well, uh, I can say that seeing Laud in the Joseph costume brings me a lot of joy today. I can say that this past week, I got to have a night of playing games with my family. and That brought me a lot of joy. It was lots of fun. That is fun. It is. And we're continuing in all of our uh, Bible stories during this time with Celebrate Wonder, talking about joy. And today, our Bible story is about Joseph oh. in the costume, Joseph's joy. Jesus's father, Mary's husband, Joseph, and I have my little figurine here. Now we encourage everybody to read out of their Bibles the story for today, and it's found in Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 24. So read that together out of your Bibles. Now today in our Bible story, we're going to find Joseph is kind of in a difficult position. His soon-to-be wife, Mary, is pregnant unexpectedly. And so Joseph has to make a decision whether he's going to marry her or not, or whether he's going to break off their engagement. And so while Joseph is contemplating this unexpected thing that has happened in this very hard choice, he has a dream and an angel appears in the dream to him. Oh, Miss Laurie has her angel too. And the angel says, listen, the son that Mary's going to have is going to be Jesus, God's son. You need to stay with her and help her and be a part of this wonderful story and to help uh, protect and love Jesus as he grows up. And so Joseph listens to the angel. And when he wakes up, he takes Mary as his wife and they uh, go on in the story as, as we know, and they head on to Bethlehem and do those things. You know, it made me think, like Joseph, we've all had some difficult situations, haven't we? Been in some tough places, having to make some difficult decisions. But, you know, even in those confusing times and those hard times, we find that God shows up in all kinds of unexpected ways. I mean, Laud reminded us that, that today, showing up unexpectedly in his Joseph costume. But we see that God shows up in all kinds of ways when we don't know what to do. Maybe as a friend helping us, maybe as family helping us, maybe in something that we see that brings us joy and helps us remember that God is right there with us and loves us all the time and helps us. Should we roll our wonder cube and, and have some wonder questions? So remember, use your wonder cube at home. Miss Laurie, do you want to roll first? Sure. All right. Okay. Mm, what is your favorite part of the Bible story? I think my favorite part was when Joseph listened to the angel. Mm -hmm. He actually listened and, and did what the angel said. I like that part too. Mm -hmm. I like that, um, that Joseph has a dream because dreams are kind of neat. I mean, sometimes they can be scary, but sometimes they can be really wonderful and helpful to us too. I like that part of the story. Okay, I'm gonna roll my wonder cube, see what I get. Ah, I wonder, my wonder cube says, what did the Bible story teach you? Well, I thought the, I think the Bible story has taught me that God can show up in all kinds of ways and help us, sometimes in our dreams and sometimes in just lots of unexpected ways. What about mm -hmm. you, Miss Lari? Um, yeah, I, th I think it also taught me to listen when God is trying to tell you something, to pay attention and listen. Indeed. Yeah. I like it. Well, shall we have a prayer before we head into um, our Bible story video? Who that sounds good. Like. I can lead it. Here, you guys pray after me. Dear God. Dear God. Help me be full of joy. Help me be full of joy. Amen. Amen. Excellent. Well, it's time for our Bible story video. So make sure you get in really close so everybody can see and hear everything. And then we'll be back in a few minutes. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Abigail. This week, we're talking about Joseph. Just like Mary, Joseph got big news from an angel that was sent by God. Joseph already knew that Mary was going to have a baby, but he was wondering what his role was. 
He was sleeping, and an angel came to him in a dream to tell him about Mary and the new baby that would be born. The angel told Joseph not to be afraid, to stay with Mary and raise the baby together. The angel also told him that they would call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. This was a reminder to Joseph that God was with him and that it was going to be okay. While Joseph was wondering, God heard him. God responds to us and helps us when we don't know what to do. When we are in tough situations, God hears us and wants us to know that we are not alone. For Joseph, it was an angel coming in his dream to calm him and tell him about Jesus. Maybe for you, God shows up through a friend or a family member who encourages you and helps you. Maybe it's simply a feeling that everything is going to be okay. God showed up through my friends when I auditioned for a school play. I got a part, but not the one that I wanted. I felt a little discouraged and uncertain if I would be good at the part I got. But my friends had been in plays before, and they talked to me about how to be a good actor in any role. With their support, I felt more confident and my performance was a success. That was God helping me through my friends. Joseph also found himself in an unexpected role as Jesus' father. Being a father to an unexpected child probably made Joseph feel uncertain. But the angel came to assure him that his role was a good thing and that he shouldn't be afraid of it. This is also true for us. God is with us and is helping us along the way, even when we don't understand. Joy doesn't always look like a big and happy celebration. But for Joseph, joy was gratitude and acceptance of the next step in his journey. I have joy knowing that God hears us and that God is always with us. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, it is time for our arts and crafts. And this week's all you need is a piece of paper. There were some um, blank pieces of paper in your packet and either some crayons, some markers, some colored pencils. I chose crayons this week because I'm just feeling kind of like crayons this week. So on your piece of paper, you're going to write the word to pick a color. I think I'm gonna go with kind of a reddish purpley color. You're gonna write in the middle of it, joy. You might need a grown up to help you. So you're gonna write the word joy. And then all around this word, you're going to write things that either give you joy or draw pictures of things that can give you joy. So you can do whatever colors you want. One thing that gives me joy is the sun. I love the sun. So I drew a picture of sunshine. Um, Laud gives me joy. So I'm going to write his name. because so I don't think I'd be very good at drawing a sheep. So you get the idea. And then you're going to put this up in your house and feel free to add to it each day. If you think of more things that give you joy. Have fun, guys. Bye. Hi, grown-ups. It's time for our spiritual practice together. You know, one of the things we've learned in our Bible story today is that Joseph's life was just interrupted. And I know that you are familiar with interruptions in your life. But sometimes we can really find great joy in interruptions or in unexpected things. So our spiritual practice for this week is to shake up our own routines on purpose a little bit and to just do something else that will perhaps bring us joy. Maybe if you have that online meeting or that phone meeting, you can take a walk in the middle of it just to bring you a little joy. Maybe instead of immediately responding to that email, you can make a gratitude list. And just for a few moments, think of all the things that you're grateful for and write down three or four of them. Maybe you can take a break and take a deep breath like we've been doing or make your scrunchy face and release for some joy. But disrupt your own plans just a little bit this week. Remember Joseph and how his plans were disrupted and take that moment of joy. Let God's love and God's joy just flow through you. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you again soon.
Okay, everybody. I am so glad that you guys joined us on our second week of our holiday celebrate wonder. And we have a few things that we need to talk about. Number one, don't forget your word joy that you could color. I did color mine over the weekend and uh, Mor Morty's holding it for us. We also have our new celebration chart. It's kind of hard to see the marks I've made on mine, but hang this up and remember to go through with your family and try to hit as many of these boxes as you can each week, okay? We also are gonna be lighting our Advent wreath, right? Pastor yeah. Meredith has hers all ready to go, ready to light that. Which candle are we lighting today, Pastor Meredith? Today, we are lighting the third candle. So if you mm -hmm. have your Advent wreath kit from church, you can use that. You can also use the Advent wreath that came in your Celebrate Wonder kit like Miss Laurie has. And we're lighting our third candle of, you guessed it, joy. She thinks. Oh, wonderful. And Miss Laurie is taping her third. She and Miss La and Laud are very nice. Our candle of joy. Joseph shared so much joy in our Bible story today. And we have a special spiritual practice, fun chant to say to help us remember that joy that God gives us here at Christmas in Jesus. So say this after me, and you can use this at home too. It's right in your kit. And it uses the letters of joy, J-O-Y, just like Mortimer's holding, and just right back here. So, so for J, say, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. You can spread his message. You can spread his message. And follow his ways. And follow his ways. Well, that's kind of fun. Let's do it again. Let's see if I can point my letters. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. You can spread his message. You can spread his message and follow his ways and follow his way great job everybody thank you so much again for joining us for celebrate wonder this week it has been a joy to have <laughs> you all here together and we look forward to um seeing you the next couple of weeks we're going to have a very abbreviated time with our bible story and our music as we head into the, as we have the week of christmas and the week of new year but still tune in on wednesday evenings if you want to so you can keep up with the bible story and the music video sound good laurie that sounds awesome we'll see you then thanks bye guys be joyful <laughs> Hello, what a day, everything is happening and there's no reason to be afraid, you say, stand up, look around, so much good news everywhere and oh it's such a beautiful sound